Hey, this is Flo, the drummer and recording guy for the Giant Lungs. I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the new recording setup to whoever is interested. So, starting with the drums, of course, we have a Glyn Jones recording setup for the overheads here. One on the top, one on the left hand side. Not to give it too much symbols, but hopefully more of the bassy substance which we need. And um, two mics, one in sight and one in front of the kick. And top and bottom snare. So opposite of the drums actually go both, well, both of the guitars. So this is Paddy's setup, Patrick's setup, this is Jochen's. So shouting both into my face as a drummer is always a good decision. Also for live recordings, I admire a lot the work of uh, Moses Schneider, German engineer, who I learned a lot from. And um, it also accounts for the constellation for the bass, which is next to the drums here. So Don's space here, um, which I don't pick up with a microphone, I have to admit. I just take two DI signals, one in front or before the um, effect channels. Big Muff here, of course, is the essential part. And uh, one after the distortion from the orange amp and uh, the Big Muff. Yeah, that's it for Don and for Pade. I basically have a constellation of two basic microphones, dynamic, classic, four to one in the center of the more crunchy sounding top speaker and uh, a more bassy uh, sounding bottom speaker, classic Celestian here with a 57 and an SM7B in addition to that. And for Jochen, we have um, a Fretman constellation of two SM57s, center or axis and off axis, and that particular constellation and an NT2A in addition to it. So both um, guitar mics, the basic dynamic small diaphragm mics I go to with uh, to this little device which I just newly bought in Leipzig um, an older TAG3 console which does nice things when put to a larger gain so one and two is the two uh, microphones from Patrick and three and four respectively for uh, Jochen and those two I merge directly here in this console to one mono signal each some EQing which I'm not sure of yet but uh, yeah it will sound more analog I hope some devices here recording computer PC and um, interface and um, preamps of course some more fancy, some less. And the thing that did most of the trick for the last record is here. It's actually also Moses Schneider um, advice to use um, speakers as microphones. So I built this cheap 12 inch speaker on a board and uh, hooked it up with a um, XLR jack or a socket and um, yeah, that did most of the sound for the last record, which is why it has the Giant Lungs logo on it. Last time around I had it in front of the drum kit, um, catching up all the bleed from everything. This time around I decided to give it more space and put it in the back of the rehearsal room, as I did with this cheap hi-fi mic, which I just also hung up to the TH3 console. Let's see where that gets us. Well, 
don't panic it will take some time until we get the next thing released because yeah we are rehearsing for live gigs and stuff and just trying out new material and trying out new uh, recording constellations hey that's it and hope you enjoyed it bye <laughs>